Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I figured since I've been a little bit busier the last couple days, uh, haven't had as much time to upload videos like I have been, I figured I would jump on the car videos bandwagon. So this will probably be a bit, little bit lower quality, but um, nonetheless, I'm, I'm here for you all. So what I wanted to talk about today, I've had a lot of subscribers asking me about uh, the WiMAX fund and if I think it'll be more stable nav. So far, it looks good. Um, it's up like 8% since inception. And it's funny, every now and then I get a comment or two asking me like what inception means. Inception is not the movie, which that was a good movie by the way, good soundtrack too. But that means since the beginning of the fund. So since the fund first started trading, we're up like 8% in it. Uh, and it pays a pretty good dividend, not the same as the rest, of course. But it's looking pretty good. So I mean, that might be, and of course, it's a fund of funds, you know, of all, all of the uh, covered call ETFs. So for those that don't know, WiMAX is the fund of funds for the covered call ETFs. All, what is it, 18 of them? And then <clears throat> you've got um, WiMAG, which is the Magnificent Seven uh, fund of funds. I actually, I think I like that one better, just personally, since the underlying is actually individual stocks. Um, and then Ulti. Of course, we've got Ulti, which can trade in and out of half of its holdings within a uh, certain whatever time frame they choose. So they've already balanced out of a lot of their um, stock holdings, of course. But yeah, I think you know YMAX and YMAG being a fund of funds, you, you have a little bit more, a little bit more security through diversification, I guess. And. But again, you know, you're probably going to see, especially with WiMAX, you're going to see uh, more... Well, we'll see how things go, but because the underlying is the covered call funds, you've got NAV erosion in several of those. Um, and of course, you know, from a total return standpoint, even the ones that are way up, like Coney and NVDY, uh, it has a lot to do with the underlyings being up, of course. And the underlyings are, in many cases, double the total return performance of the yield max funds. So, I mean, like I say, I know I talk about Tesla a lot, I harp on how much Tesla's down. Um, Tesla's, of course, the worst case scenario. I'm not trying to cherry pick, but it's obviously not performed well from a NAV standpoint. It still paid out, like, the dividend percentage is still in, like, the 50% range, which is almost unfathomable to me because the nav, you know, has dropped so much, of course, but um, we've got so many different companies trying to do these funds as well now. You know, so for Yield Max, I feel like, I don't know, I think SoFi tried to do weeklies uh, some time back and it didn't go so well, so now those funds, like, no longer exist, I guess. Um, and someone came up with a good question, by the way. What happens, like, if a fund like that, if they just delist it or whatever, they just refund basically whatever the value that the investor had in the fund. Um, but yeah, now we've got Roundhill doing weekly dividends, which I just did a video estimating what those might be. And then, of course, we've got Defiance, which Defiance has, like, the, you know, the funds based on the indexes. And those seem to, in terms of like, just the price uh, performance, they seem to be dropping. But in terms of total return, I think we're up in somewhere in the double digits, which that's a pretty wide range when I say double digits. That could be anywhere from like 10% to 99%. Of course, I think it's like 10%. But if you use a language like double digits, that could broaden, obviously, your threshold. But anyway, um, so we've got those. And of course, yield max which is, I guess, the OG, and there's 21 of those funds now, including Ulti. And Misty, someone asked me when Misty might recover. It paid out like a $4 dividend, so it's just gotta, so what happens, the underlying has to keep going up. With covered call ETFs, you're capped on the upside, but you have unlimited exposure to the downside. Now what's interesting, I was looking at one in particular on a video I did yesterday. I do so many videos, it's hard for me to keep track of what I say and some of my videos. But um, yesterday, I was doing a live show. Was it yesterday? No, it was the day before. Uh, <clears throat> so I was doing a live show, and um, I looked at the fund that day. Had actually, there, there was one fund that was down less. I think it was, it might have been Coinbase. 
and Misty. So one was up somehow for one day higher than what the stock did, and the other one was actually down less than how the stock was down. So that was definitely interesting. But yeah, so like I said, we've got uh, oh, and Curve funds too. Now Curve. So I've had uh, two people on from Curve. That's the only uh, fund group so far that I've had two different people from the organization on. I've had the CEO and I had um, Shang, who is a CQP by uh, professional designation. I was really impressed with them, and they're aiming for actually more stable NAV with lower dividends. So I, I might be looking at those, but of course I still like a lot of growth. Like I always say, the majority of my portfolio is you know growth stocks, 80% at least. Uh, well, real estate, growth, index funds, things like that. Um, these speculative positions, I keep these more to the 10% allocation. And uh, I could be paring some of them down, of course, but the 10% allocation of the portfolio definitely makes for the more interesting, more popular content on YouTube, for sure. Um, the growth, well, I think, you know, growth kicks butt. Um, it, it, does, it doesn't make for the most interesting content. But, anyway, so yeah, um, so YMAX, I hope that kind of cleared things up a little bit on YMAX. I think that, we'll see how it does, but I mean, so far, so good. You know, 8%. Of course, we're in a bull market, remember, everything is starting to recover. Well, not starting to, we've been recovering for like over a year, but we're almost like back to all-time highs in a lot of our stuff, and in several of our stocks we've hit like new highs in, so we don't want to miss out on too much of the upside, but I think YMAX and YMAG, like for the Magnificent 7, uh, that is one I'm definitely uh, very fond of, for sure, and I think with the underlying being actual individual stocks, that might be the more stable play over the long term. So anyway, I just wanted to uh, do a car video. I haven't done one in a while. I have done them before, but it's been a while. I got my little phone mount now, so it makes it easier. Um, I don't have a Tesla, not the self-driving or anything, but nonetheless, I'll start incorporating more uh, car videos into the, uh, the content strategy. So I don't know if I'll do live streams uh, in the car, but we'll definitely see. I'm open to everything. And uh, we had a podcast yesterday with the Cashflow Kings went very well on our Brewing Great Returns podcast. If y'all haven't checked that one out, definitely do. Definitely subscribe to both, to all the channels of all the people that are on there. Actually, everyone on there is a YouTuber, so subscribe to all of our channels too. Um, but anyway, what else? So we got our Round Hill dividends coming up um, next week. I did a video on that this morning. And... I just don't know if I'll be able to do one tonight, so I figured I'd do one in the car today. But one of the next ones will be another live show. I definitely want to ramp up the Discord live show, so we've got to get participation in there from you all. I'm doing portfolio reviews, which most of those come during the live show. So if you all aren't tuning in for that, definitely do. Uh, I know I'm still not scheduling things too, too well in advance, but I usually aim for evenings for the live show. Uh, sometimes I can't do it until like 11 o'clock. I may try to do it at 8 or 9 or even 7 sometimes. But we'll definitely try to get there. So anyway, well, thank you all for those of you that watched this one. This isn't live today. This is an actual video pre-recorded. So like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you all on the next one. All right? Take care. Bye.